A couple of years ago, we first heard about Staff Sergeant Logan Ireland, a transgender man in the Air Force. For the first time, a Sarasota woman is speaking out about her experience serving in the military while being transgender. SNN's Crystal Knowles has the exclusive story. On the Department of Defense website since last September, there is a 71-page handbook about transgenders serving in the military. But since then, a lot has changed. Transgenders in the military went from having a handbook covering topics from health and transition policies to President Trump's tweets about not allowing transgenders to serve in any capacity. As Kayla Whitney explains, there are thousands of transgenders serving in the military today. Whitney knows firsthand because she's one of them. During her years in service, she went by the name of Kevin. I already knew there were a lot of service members that were having to serve while still being in the closet. And that's rough. In 2006, Whitney served as a crew tankman while deployed in Iraq. This is actual video footage of the tank being bombed by an IED. After that, I called up my status, nothing broken or bleeding. Um, I didn't hear any wilds respond. Her crew members hurt, one soldier's legs blown off. Basically just squeezed my way past the equipment on the inside to get to the middle compartment. And uh, that's... Well, there's a reason I don't like horror movies much anymore. She saved his life. And I got it for, among other things, saving that fellow soldier's life. Since President Trump's tweets, Whitney feels any chance of being treated fairly is slipping away. It's kind of hard to not feel like there's, an, there's a small, loud segment of the country that really, really, really doesn't like us, that really wants us gone from public life, basically to not exist. While 18 other countries allow transgenders to serve, Whitney is following closely to new House bills trying to pass to invalidate transgenders. House Bill 2796, the quote, Civil Rights Unif Uniformity Act of 2017, which would basically prevent any future attempts at putting civil rights protections there for trans people. And it would also completely undo the whole point of transitioning by defining sex as only genetic. Whitney says she suspected she was transgender in her 20s after enlisting in the military, but it wasn't until a few years ago she transitioned. In Sarasota, Crystal Knowles, SNN, Suncoast News Network. Kayla got married in 2009 and says her wife was completely supportive of her transitioning. Now she hopes to have a family in the near future.